In a large vehicle like this, it's really important for safety to maintain the correct tire pressure. And having an air compressor like this with us all the time makes the task so much easier. Since you're usually supposed to check tire pressure with cold tires before driving, it's nice to have this on us so we can adjust the pressure before we hit the road. If we're doing a lot of driving, we try to check the tire pressure pretty frequently. Another good time to check them is when there's big fluctuations in temperature because that really affects tire pressure. So this is the Slime Heavy Duty Tire Inflator and you can just power it with the 12 volt socket in the vehicle. Just sleeping in the back. Right under the driver's seat is this sunshade. It's foldable and it expands like that. We use it not only for the sun, but our privacy. It goes up like this. These visors right here to keep it up. Super easy and actually really cheap. I think it was like 10 bucks. And Ian did something very clever for the other windows to give us privacy. These so. are our do-it-yourself sunshades. We bought a roll of this insulation from Home Depot, about $10, and we cut it out and put Velcro on it goes up on our windows just like this. Great for privacy, great for keeping the heat out during the day, and easy to take up and take down. We just roll it up and put it underneath our bed. Something that we thought of while we were on the road, which I thought was super clever, is to put Velcro on this side. We fold it down, crack the window open, and then we put our mosquito net on the outside. That way we get a cross breeze from the windows at night. We don't do this often unless it's really hot. As is this canister of, of what do they call this, the air horn? So, I don't have the other piece out, but it's an air horn. Basically as a way to signal. And uh, three burst is the, the, the sign of needing help. So if I am in a position and I'm in the car and need help, I can use either of those devices. Then I also keep, happen to keep bear spray with me. Which can be used for people, Which if it had can to be. Used, to. It would be used for people if it had to be, yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this one's great because it's still really effective in colder temperatures, which is usually when you want to use it in a camper van. We like it because it neatly fits under our bed. It doesn't make too much noise compared to a compressor dehumidifier. And it also throws off a little bit of heat, which is nice on colder days. The one downside is that it does take quite a bit of power, so we can't use it with our solar power system. We have to use it when we have access to shore power. But for us, if the van feels damp for a sustained period, Plugging this in is a priority so we don't develop any mold issues. And this item's also a little bit pricier than the other items, but for us, totally worth it. Just one final note about dehumidifiers is that we've tried the compressor style dehumidifier, which was bigger, louder, and it didn't work as well in low temperatures. We've also tried the really small ones that are Peltier technology, and we found that those didn't work at all if it was not in a warm climate.